Oh, hey there. I didn't see you. My name is Chuck Spindles, Director of Feline Studies in EPA, and I'm here with my colleague, Baron Blanstein. Hey! 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 That's me! That's me! I, I, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't know how he got in EPA. Anyway, today I want to tell you guys about the dire situation of the Amur leopard. The Amur leopard is a critically endangered species of leopard native to Eastern Asia. But first, let's start with a description. The Amur leopard has some very distinguishing features. The hair in its summer coat is about 2.5 centimeters in length, but in winter it can grow up to 7 centimeters. Apart from its long winter coat, which is a light color in the winter, and more reddish yellow in the summer, the Amur leopard is easily told apart from other leopard subspecies by its widely spaced spots with thick borders. It also has longer legs, which is most likely an adaptation for walking through thick snow. Adults male, adult males weigh around 32 to 48 kilograms, and exceptionally large males weigh up to 75 kilograms. Females typically weigh 25 to 43 kilograms. Hey, 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 uh, uh Chuck, uh, what, what, what's a kilogram? It's a thousand grams, Gerd. Oh, oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, Chuck, uh, why is the amber leopard endangered? Well, first is because of habitat loss and fragmentation. It's estimated that between 1970 to 1983, the amber leopard lost 80% of its former territory. Indiscriminate logging, forest fires, and land conversion for farming are the main causes. The second reason is prey scarcity. There are still large areas of habitat left in China, but the prey in these forests is insufficient to sustain populations of leopards and tigers. Prey populations will recover if the use of the forest by a local population is regulated and if measures are taken to limit the poaching of such animals. For the amber leopard to survive in the long term, it needs to be able to repopulate its former range. In order for that to happen, prey populations must recover first. The third reason is vulnerable population size and inbreeding. Additionally, the amber leopard is threatened by its small population size, which makes them vulnerable to dis natural disasters such as fire or disease. There may also not be enough variation in birth and death rates, or sex ratios, and vulnerability in to inbreeding. Father, daughter, and sibling matings have been observed, and it's possible that incest may lead to genetic problems that include reduced fertility. Hey Chuck, uh, what's incest? Hey Chuck, uh, you never answered my question earlier. Well, poaching in a legal trade. The amber leopard is poached largely for its beautiful spotted fur. In 1999, an undercover investigation team recovered a female and male amber leopard skin, which were being sold for $500 and $1,000 respectively, in the village of Barabash. This discovery indicates that there is a demand for such commodities. Farms and villages surround the forest where the leopards live. As a result, the forests are relatively accessible, making poaching for a larger problem than anywhere else. Conflict with humans. Amur leopards are particularly vulnerable because of their consumption of deer, which is due to direct human involvement. Farmers in Eastern Asia raise deer for human consumption and to produce antlers for the production of certain medicines. In absence of wild prey, the leopards often venture into the deer farms and search for food. Owners in these farms are, are quick to protect their investment by shooting leopards that wander onto their property. Leopards that are killed from jeopardization of investments is currently the number one cause of amber leopard deaths by human influence. Hey Chuck, uh, I once saw this YouTube video where like, there were a bunch of uh, random uh, uh, guys going around and they were shooting out leopards and stuff. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that, Gurn, because we found that very same video. Oh, yay! <laughs> No, son. This is a job for... The Winslayer. As long as I'm a black bear, they'll never know it's me. Target. Confirmed.
I need to get a little closer. Okay, I'm about the coordinates of 39 degrees north and 110 degrees east. I have the Amber Leopard within at least 50 meters of range, my current location. What's he doing? He's just sitting there, totally oblivious of my black bear presence. That's basically why the Amber Leopard is disappearing. They're being posted for profits that can be made for selling their skin. Gurren, what are you doing? Uh, I'm changing my clothes! Get over here. Anyway, how their disappearance will affect other species and people. The Amber Leopard is at the top of the food chain hunter and helps con control the populations of boar, deer, badgers, hare, and other small mammals. One of the most astonishing aspects of their eating habits is that they will actually carry their prey with them into trees to eat or store for later consumption. In this way, their prey is less accessible to other species. Without the Amber Leopard, the ecosystems of Eastern Asia may go into a state of disarray. If the environment goes into the state, humans and their economic interests may be at risk. Uh, hey Chuck, uh, how do you tie a tie? I don't know. Alright, so what can you guys do to help the Amor Leopard? Gurren, you want to read this one? Uh, okay! You guys can speak out against the illegal poaching of the Amor Leopard and take public action. You could also help support the World Wildlife Fund or the trade records analysis of Florida and Fauna and Commerce, Traffic, which both take action to prevent the buying and selling of Amor Leopard products. So, how do I do? Huh? Hey Chuck, uh, why is the Amber Leopard in danger? Like, it's when I say "uh" that gets you right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so what can you guys do to help the Amber Leopard? Fuck, that looks weird. I'm not ready. I'm not All right, ready. so what can you guys do to help the Amber Leopard? I'm not ready. Gurren, you want to read this one? I'm, I'm not ready. You know, we could have actually gone with that one. We could have. All right, so what can you guys do to help the Amber Leopard? You want to read this one? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I got to break down. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. My name's Chuck Spindles. I can't do this. This. No, forget it. I'm not gonna do this. 